Hey friends, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate you if you're new. My name is Neil, and we just had a contest on the channel which closed at the beginning, or sorry, the end of February, and now it's time to announce the winner. And I have to preface this video by saying, of the you know 15 plus contests that we've done on the channel since I first started on YouTube, this has been the most difficult to decide the winner. It was narrowed down to six, and between the judges and myself, we could not agree on what the best one was. Like that's how good the ent entries were in this contest. We had over a hundred. I'm not gonna show you all hundred. It would take literally six hours, but I am gonna show you the majority of them, but very quickly. So please get your snacks, get your drinks. This is gonna be a long video. I appreciate you coming along for the ride here. And uh, I think you're gonna be really, really excited by some of the teams that some of the people out there have created. Now, if you're not familiar with the contest, the idea behind it was to create an NHL team based on the town that you live in. So it can't, can't be a current NHL city, it can't be a current NHL team name. So you have to create a team name, a logo, an alternate logo, a jersey, and then a short description on why you named your team you did and maybe what decisions you made behind the logo or something. A very short description, basically. And the idea behind this contest wasn't our typical contest that we do where we want to see like a really refined jersey and logo, something extremely professional. This was more about the conceptual idea of how you came to the conclusion to name your team what you did and why you made the logo like you did and why does the jersey look like that. So this was more about the thought and not necessarily the execution. And there was a little bit of an extra snippet where if you took a photo in front of your town's home sign, like, you know, welcome to Fredericton. I live in Fredericton. Welcome to Fredericton. And you did a salute. That was a little bit of an extra. But if you took a, a you know, a photo in front of your sign, you would automatically get reviewed by the judges. Your, your you know, your whole contest submission would get reviewed by the judges. Okay, so let's go through this. I'm going to start off by showing... Uh, this is broken down into sections. I apologize that it's so, this is gonna be really clumsy as we go through this, but I don't know any other way to do it. So this is split in between picks, and that's, you know, submissions of people who have taken pictures in front of the sign, and no picks. So I, we did eliminations in a process, or I did eliminations in a process here, so I eliminated, we're gonna look at the picks first. I eliminated 15 submissions uh, right away. The judges still saw these, but I still kind of eliminated them. And uh, so let's, let's show you these 15 submissions and I'm gonna go through these very quickly and tell you why I, uh, maybe not exactly why, but maybe one, one or two reasons why I, they were eliminated. And these are in no particular, I guess they're in alphabetical order. That's kind of how we're, we're going. So 15 of the first eliminations of people who took, took, took pictures here. Okay, let's go. So the first one was called the Al Albion Forks. This was by Ian and again, I, I pr I, I always pronounce things wrong, so I apologize if I'm pronouncing any of this wrong. So what I'll do first is show you an actual picture of Ian. So there he is in front of, not technically the town sign, but I did accept it. This was a sign that was in his town, and it was based on uh, kind of his idea. So, and his team name was called, like I said, it was the uh, Albion Forks. I'm not going to read his description, like it would take too long. So I apologize there, Ian, and everyone else in this little section. But I want to show you his jersey. Uh, he did two. I don't know. Not sure which his main one was, but I'll show you both just because. Uh, it's a you know very close to the Detroit Red Wings a little bit. The logo's okay. Uh, I prefer the white jersey, but uh, just in general, I, we felt the the team name was a little bit uh, odd. Forks, and maybe the jersey was a little bit too close to uh, Detroit. Moving on to Alder Grove Ranchers. This was submitted by Ryan. And by the way, some of these submissions didn't even have names. So there'll be like random letters, numbers, or emails, or whatever. So I apologize for that as well. So this was by Ryan Alder Grove Ranchers. There's a picture of Ryan in front of the sign. And then he's got his jersey here, which is a cow head and some cow pattern. So like it's, it's a little cartoony and stuff, but it's kind of a cool idea. I like the cow pattern in there a little bit. This would definitely be more of a specialty jersey probably. And we felt like, you know, the team Ranchers, that's a really cool name actually. We really, we really like that name. But the logo itself is, you know, an, an animal that would be on the ranch versus a rancher himself. So we didn't really feel like the logo necessarily met the team of the, or, you know, matched the team name. Um, next one that was eliminated was the Aurora Eagles. This was by A-B-I-G-P-E-A-10. Here's a picture of that person in front of the Aurora sign. Awesome picture. And uh, here's the jersey that was drawn. 
And by the way, in this contest, you could do it digitally or you could draw it, it didn't really matter. And we actually really loved the jersey here. This was, we thought it was a very unique and strong jersey. We even liked the, the logo as well. But uh, we, we felt it was maybe a little bit too simplistic in the logo itself. And uh, it, it, was, it had vibes of Chicago Blackhawks because of all the, you know, the different colors. And it was the, the Eagles, it was kind of close to a hawk. And so it was just a lot of similar, similarities to the Chicago Blackhawks. And so for that reason, that one was eliminated in this first round. The next one that was eliminated was the Casper Pronghorns. This was by Dan, longtime viewer of the channel, Dan. Uh, here he is. He's wearing, even wearing a Twisted Wrister Hockey uh, a hat here. Shout out to Nick from Twisted Wrister Hockey. And then he submitted one. I'm going to show you the jersey. He's actually submitted a lot of stuff here, but... Uh, the jersey itself, you can see the primary logo on there. Uh, you can see the colors, so very close to maybe some other teams in the NHL, the Montreal Canadiens, the New York Rangers. So there was, we felt like there was kind of vibes from, from different teams, and maybe the, the colors weren't necessarily too unique. The logo is, is okay. I think maybe it should be a little bit more uh, aggressive in the mouth area or something. It feels like quite small or something. The arms were quite in interesting, though. We, we liked the arms. Okay, next up was the Chester County uh, Commanders. So we really like the name. The Commanders is a really cool name. This was by uh, Googly Green. There, there's Googly Green there in front of the sign. Uh, sweet jersey, by the way. Like the jersey, like the sign too. And here was his submission. So Chester County Commanders. So the the, the jersey itself is actually really cool. I think those colors are kind of neat. Uh, but the, we felt it was way too busy in the back behind like the primary logo there. They almost kind of like, well, they were fighting for attention a little bit. So we felt like the middle of the jersey wasn't that great, but we really liked the rest of the jersey and uh, especially the name too. Next, th this next submission comes from Finland and it's by Sisu or Sisu. I apologize if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but there he is in front of this like, um, sorry, amazing. A submission all the way from, from Finland. This is incredible. I love it. Love the salute. Very formal, and his team name was called the es Espu Angry Birds. So this one is is okay. It's a little bit like you know the uh, New Jersey Devils a little bit, uh, but we felt like the logo and the team name was maybe too cartoony for the NHL. Angry Birds is, uh, you know, it's about the game really. So we felt like if that game didn't exist, it would be a really cool name. But because the game existed, it kind of took away from it a little bit. Next one that was eliminated was uh, this is uh, Franklin Mar uh, Militia. This is by Grant. He actually submitted two photos. The first one is in front of a little sign that says Historic City of Franklin, and that's in Tennessee. Uh, he's got the, an awesome salute there. And then his next photo was in front of this big, giant, like, p painting on the side of a building. Welcome to Franklin. One of the cool, probably the coolest welcome to signs of any of the submissions in the contest. I loved it, and I love the fact that he got in front of it. Um, I... I don't know exactly where Franklin is in Tennessee. I've never been to Tennessee, but I know that when I go to Tennessee, I want to go to Franklin specifically for the sign. That is incredible. I love it. Thank you so much, Grant, for submitting that one. I really appreciate it. So the name Militia, I'm going to bring up the jersey here. The name Militia we felt was ah, maybe slightly too aggressive. He also included a, a gun on the middle of the logo. I'm not offended by guns. I know there's, you know, there's a, it's a very polarizing topic, regardless of what side you're on. I'm kind of in the middle, I don't really care. But we felt like because it was a little bit too polarizing that this wouldn't be a great choice. But we liked the colors for sure. Not necessarily unique, close to Columbus Blue Jackets, close to the New York Rangers, but uh, we, we we liked the colors. Like as far as the jersey design stuff, it looks really good. Next submission was the Harold Harbor Newsies. This is by Chris and he's got an awesome jersey. Look at that Caps jersey he's got on there. Cool sign as well. He's got the Maryland flag that's on there. I love the back of the inside of the the neck of the jersey, whatever, that looks so good. Very classic. We, we didn't really like the name and the, and the logo itself. We thought Newsies was kind of a, it's a, it's a cool story. The description was really cool, but it's kind of an odd, like Newsies, it was just kind of an odd, like awkward name. And the logo itself, we didn't really feel like was was that great either. So we had we decided to eliminate that one. Okay, next up is the the Melbourne or Mel, Melbourne Mel, Melbourne. I don't know how you pronounce. It. I'm so sorry. Uh, and that is called the Melbourne Kneelers, named after myself actually. So this was submitted by Forrest and Hen Henria Henria. And look at like Australia. We have an Australian submission, which is incredible. He's wearing a National Predator jersey underneath the welcome to sign from, like, I love this photo. I'm so sorry that you were eliminated, but this is an amazing photo. I thank you so much for submitting it. 
And uh, the nay or the jersey here is actually kind of cool. I like the colors, like yellow and some burgundy as well. It's a cool logo too. But the name Neeler, like it's named after me, has nothing to do with Melbourne at all. So for like for that reason, the description just this would never make sense. And so for that reason, it was disqualified, or I guess eliminated rather. Uh, the next submission is by it's called the Morrisville Pioneers by Haskins Has Haskin Kai. I don't know. Something I can I can barely read it there, and so there this person is in front of like this is a cool like sign like there looks like the state is up there as well like a, an outline with some indentations of elevation and stuff and all the counties are kind of like cut out it's like that is an awesome sign I love that and the submission was the Morrisville Pioneers and there you can see the jersey it's pretty busy and we felt like the logo was a little bit busy as well so for that reason it was eliminated but we love the picture the next elimination was from james this is the new hampshire uh old men new hampshire old men <laughs> an interesting name and there he is he didn't take a picture in front of the sign but he didn't include a picture and there is the jersey so a cool kind of a cool jersey but we felt like the name old men it's a silly name like in a good way in a really good way uh, we we like the playfulness of it, but we didn't really necessarily think it was too realistic. But uh, the jersey was very very nice, that's for sure. Okay, so this next submission was was submitted with a with a photo and a name, but it was requested in the thing that the photo not be shown and the name not be shown, and the entire idea of the extra like bonus part of the thing was so I could show your picture and where you're from. So I can't share the picture and I can't share the name. Kind of part of the reason that it was eliminated. It wouldn't have won anyway. But I wanted to show you the jersey and specifically the logo because it, it, it is actually really cool. So it, the team is called the New Westminster Tyrants. And the logo is phenomenal. I love the accent of the purple in there as well. I think using very subdued colors like a, a, a charcoal or with a gray or a silver and then an off-white. Very, very like low-key colors. But then to kick it off and contrast it with the bright purple... I thought that was a really intelligent uh, idea, and the logo is really cool as well. So, But unfortunately, we did have to eliminate it. Next up, this submission is the Silver Hill Sasquatch from Trevor Thomas. And here is Trevor in front of the sign. Really cool sign, actually. I like that a lot. He's even holding up his drawing there in the photo, and then I'll show you the drawing. And it was, I, like, I love the name. It was one of the best names chosen in the entire contest submission, Sasquatch. Like, that needs to happen. Like, I would love that. But we felt the jersey was... A little too specialty like this is a, like a kind of like an echl specialty jersey and uh, we didn't really think it was too realistic so kind of for that reason we we decided to eliminate it next was a submission by jesse and jesse submitted uh, a team called the surrey evergreens there is jesse in front of the sign awesome good to see that i love your shirt by the way jesse and here is his logo and the jersey or jerseys. So I'll have to say, I really like the, well, that was loud. I really like the away jersey, the white jersey. The dark one's okay as well. The logo is awesome, but this is so in line with the Minnesota Wild. Even the logo itself, like basically is pulled from the Minnesota Wild logo. The colors are obviously quite Minnesota Wild. So for that reason, we didn't really necessarily feel like it was totally unique. We would have liked to see the green color stay in there because of the name Evergreens, but maybe not contrasting that with yellow, maybe something else. So that was kind of the reason that this was eliminated. And then the final one that was eliminated in this section was from Keith. And the team name is called the Timiskaming, Timis Timiskaming First Nation Mugwump. I apologize if I'm pronouncing any of that incorrectly, but there he is in front of the sign from taken from a car, I think, which is kind of cool. But the the logo the logo is is okay. It's kind of close to the Cleveland, what is it? Cleveland Monsters. That's what it is. I had to look it up. Jeez, uh, Cleveland Monsters. So we felt like it was a little bit close to that. The jersey was okay. We liked the colors, but maybe not so much the the arms. But the name, like Mugwump, is just kind of an awkward name. And I don't think the general person would even know what a Mugwump was. Or it just it's just kind of an, an awkward name. So for that reason, it was eliminated. So that was the first round of eliminations. Those were the first 15 that were eliminated. Now I want to go on to the next round. So these ones made it into the second round. And there were nine el eliminations here. And I think every every one after this made it into the top 15. So if you don't see yours in this one, I think you should be in the top 15, if I'm not mistaken. So the next one in this one, or the first one that was eliminated in round two, was the Albany Beavers by Patrick. 
And there is Patrick in front of the sign. He's he's right up there. This is a small sign, but he, he did it, and he's got a wonderful smile on his face as well. So thank you for that, Patrick. Now I want to show you the jerseys that he submitted uh, because there there's a really important one here, and I got a little story behind it from my perspective. So the colors and the jersey design in general, very close to the Islanders, which we contributed to be a negative thing, but we like the logo. So it kind of made up an A, but then there's a beaver inside. So, you know, that was a very clever usage of the negative space within the logo. We thought that was really, really smart. But then the reverse retro, there used to be a team in the AHL called the Albany River Rats. And in 1994 or 1995 or whatever it was, my dad took me to an AHL playoff game here in Fredericton, New Brunswick, where I live, because at the time, the Montreal Canadiens farm team was the Fredericton Canadiens, and they made it to the finals. Who did they play? The Albany River Rats. Now, the Fredericton Canadiens got absolutely stomped in that series. I think they got swept by the Albany River Rats, but I was at game four, and what happens in game four if you win and you're, on, you're approaching a sweep? You win the cup, and I got to see the, the cup be pre being presented to the Albany River Rats. I don't necessarily remember it that much, but I was there. I got to see the cup being presented, so that was pretty cool. So I love the fact that he kind of pulled that in as a reverse retro here. Even though it wasn't an ask for the contest, I still wanted to show it because I thought it was pretty neat. So the next one that was eliminated was, uh, this would this hurt the heart, okay? This is from Evan, and he submitted one from for his team name's called the Fredericton Guards. So this is literally my city. Like, this is where I'm from, and I had to eliminate it. So here is... Evan in front of the sign. I've literally driven by the sign probably thousands of times. So it's kind of cool to see a, a submission from my hometown. And I talked to Evan via email and it actually turns out that we kind of work for the same company. So that was kind of neat. And then I hear his, his uh, jersey and his, his logos. So like the, lo the name, number one, and the logo. So if you don't know anything about Fredericton, you might think, well, guards and you know that's kind of an, an odd name, but Fredericton is kind of like a barrack city you know, going way, way, way back. So the team name is perfect. Like it literally makes sense. The logo is fantastic. I really, really like the logo a lot. The colors are good that, you know, Fredericton is known for its its red in some of its sport teams and stuff. So that's, you know, you've got the UMB team, obviously. So that's in there. But we did feel like it was a little bit too close to the Florida Panthers look in a way. And also with the Ottawa Senators, maybe the logo is a little bit close to that as well. So we knew it wasn't going to win based on that. So we decided to kind of eliminate it early. And there were some other ones that we wanted to put into the top 15s. But this really hurt my heart to kind of eliminate this one. Uh, the next one was from uh, Xander or Xander. Uh, and it's the Goldsby Gladiators. Now there he is in front of the sign. Really cool sign, actually. And then his design, he's got he, he's got two images here. He's got this logo. So let's bring up the logo. Uh, so I really like the logo. The colors look great together, blue and yeah, yeah, blue and yellow, and white as the I guess third color, tertiary color. But it, we felt it was very, very close to the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. It was very like kind of split and symmetrical and a sheet like a face shield and stuff. So we felt it was a little bit too close. But the jersey itself was pretty cool. He decided to use gray as the primary color here and then use the accent colors, which was the primary in the logo. So I think if the logo was on this jersey and it actually existed, like conceptually, this was a really cool play, I think, by um, by him. I think that would be a fantastic uh, jersey. And then his, his alternate logo, I'll show that as well. We actually really, this was our favorite part of the whole submission. We really like this one a lot. Uh, just the way that he designed it to be completely symmetrical, round, which shoulder patches typically are. Like that would look amazing on a shoulder patch. So great job there. Uh, Alexander or Xander, I don't know how to pronounce your name. The next one that was eliminated was from Jensen. This was the Hamilton Cougars. So there is, and I gotta say, okay, so part of the rules, or not necessarily the rules, but the, the extra part of the submission was to take a photo of yourself next to your, your town's sign, you know, welcome to sign. And he was clever enough to figure out that, I, well, I could just kind of look that up on the computer and then take a photo next to it without actually having to go out and visit the sign physically in person. So Jensen, you're smart, man. Okay, so he, he designed a logo here. I'll bring this up, and he's holding it up there. Now, if you don't know, there was actually a former NHL team called, or in the city, rather, of Hamilton. They were called the Hamilton Tigers. So I love the fact that he went back into history and saw, okay, Tigers. Well, I can't really necessarily call them the Tigers because that team existed, but maybe I can choose a different cat. So he chose Cougars. So, and then there's lots of Cougars in, in Canada. So the colors are awesome. I love the colors. Uh, the logo was cool as well. I can absolutely see that taking place, you know, Canadian Maple Leaf with a cougar kind of running across it, that was really cool. And then he had his alternate logo here, which was just you know, an H with some, maybe some tiger stripes, or some cougar stripes in there or whatnot. 
uh, some paws up top as well. And then here's this jersey. I love that jersey. That jersey is really awesome. The colors look good. And uh, the, the shoulder patch up there, obviously. We felt like Hamilton is so close to Toronto that I don't think, like even though we like the logo, it has a Maple Leaf. And Hamilton being so close to Toronto and the Maple Leafs, two teams that are so geographically close to each other, using almost the same logo, we felt like it was just a little bit too close, so we decided to eliminate this one. Next elimination was uh, PG-13 Hockey Man, and his team name is Intergrove Veterans. And there he is in front of the sign. Thank you for submitting that, I appreciate that. And then I'm gonna show you his home jersey here. And it's like, by itself is pretty cool. The, the striping, the colors, the off-white and the blue, that specific shade of red and blue you use with the off-white is great. You can see the secondary logo he, he designed up there on the shoulder patch as well. Uh, now the logo itself is, is very complementary to the stripes. It's got the same thickness of striping in the logo. Everything balances quite nicely. But we did feel like it was quite close to, it's like an in-between of the New York Rangers and the Columbus Blue Jackets. And we felt like uh, maybe it was just a little bit too close to those. That's really what it came down to. But we kind of liked the approach. The next one that was eliminated was by Christian Martel. And the team name was called the St. Hubert Griffins. So I got I to gotta show a picture of, of Christian here. And he's at, the, he's at the Montreal airport here. And he's even put some like lines to showing what, what, you know, what's what and what and what location. Love the salute here. And his design is uh, up on the screen here now. And he really went all out, okay? So he, he, he did a bunch of jerseys. He did home, he did away, he did alternate. He did even like a reverse retro style. And the one on the far right, I don't think that, I think that's just supposed to be a special jersey or maybe a reverse retro, but I love that jersey. Typically, I do not like jerseys that have the text kind of going down or font or whatever on a sideways angle, but I just, I think it's the colors, the combination of the simplistic jersey with the colors, it looks, just looks so good. Now his primary jersey over on the, on the left here, this is a very strong jersey as well, but we felt it was quite busy. We've got a shoulder patch, we've got the numbers and then things above each number, and then kind of some busy striping on the arms, and then the logo itself, the font was, was you know, changed perspective as it went along, and that made it more busy, and then the logo was busy itself a little bit. So we just felt like there was so much going on in the jersey that uh, it, was, it just became a distraction maybe more than anything, but we love the colors, and uh, we love the, we love the jersey design in general. We would just remove maybe the shoulder patch, maybe the stuff above the numbers, and kind of go from there. But uh, unfortunately, we did have to eliminate this one, Christian. I, I do apologize. Okay, so the next one that was submitted was Rob Gilbert's uh, team, and he called this the Lethbridge Turbines. It's very windy in Lethbridge, and he he didn't take a picture in front of the the, uh, the, the town sign, but he did in front of the newspaper, so I'll accept that. That was okay. And his design is up on the screen here now. So. The alternate logo is pretty cool. It's kind of close to, I think it's a football team or the soccer team, I can't remember. But the jersey, I loved the jersey. Like the jersey design was great. The gray with the black with that light blue, so good. And then the logo we didn't really feel that strong about, but we liked the jersey. Uh, the team name was also a little awkward too, we felt. Okay, next up, this is from Jackson, and this was the one that was eliminated next, and it was, I guess not next, but these are in no particular order other than uh, alphabetical order, uh, the Rally Red Oaks. So his picture is awesome in front of, again, another like wall mural here uh, of, you know, all are welcome to rally, raw Raleigh rather, however we pronounce it, I don't know, with uh, the kind of the pride color. So that's really, really cool. I love that representation there. And then he, he kind of submitted an awesome, like full on thing, kind of like Christian did, that explains the logo. He's got jerseys on here. He's got his alternate logo. Like the presentation behind this uh, is, is phenomenal. Like I'm, Jackson, I'm so sorry that you're not gonna win this contest, but I have to ultimately applaud you and Christian. Like anyone who went through the the amount of work to to present your, your thing like this, extra round of applause. Thank you so much for doing that. So we liked your colors. We liked your jersey. We weren't really a big fan of the logo itself. And uh, the team name was actually kind of okay, like Red Oaks, that's, you know, the big, strong tree. We thought that was kind of neat, but we weren't really a fan of the logo. Maybe a little bit too cartoony or not aggressive enough, a little bit passive. So we didn't really feel like it necessarily played into a hockey team. And then the final one that was eliminated here, this one is actually a little bit difficult. We, this one almost made it through. This was uh, by Edward, and it's called the Wake Forest Dreamcatchers. So there he is in front of the sign here. I love the photo. Welcome to Wake Forest. And then here is his jersey. Uh, actually, I'm gonna show you the logo first. So here's the logo, 
And it's a it's a pretty cool logo. I mean, it's a Dreamcatcher. It's in the shape of a D, which is cool for Dreamcatcher. There's a W and F in there as well. We like the colors. Here was an alternate logo. I thought that one was really cool as well. It's a feather, and then the colors kind of complementing it too. Here's his jerseys. Like the jerseys as, as well. Like really cool colors. The black as the primary color on the dark, and the stripes are, are perfect. The logo looks good on there, but we felt it was it was very close to the Chicago Blackhawks kind of not necessarily name but kind of like theme in a way like there's there's feathers there's the cut like the colors are kind of close a little bit so we felt like for that reason maybe it didn't have its own personality so those were all the ones that were eliminated of the people who showed their pictures so if you submitted one with your picture that means you're in the top 15 okay congratulations now i'm gonna need to go on to the ones that were not uh did or had no picture but were eliminated and there's 20 in here. So there's a top 15 of people who submitted pictures and top 15 of people who didn't submit pictures. And then I'm gonna go through the 20 that made it to the second round of no pictures and anything that's not shown in here, I, I'm not gonna show there's 24 or 25 of them or whatever. It's just gonna take so long to go through. So I apologize in advance, but there's 20 teams here. I'll try and get through these as quickly as possible to not make this video super, super long. So the first one that was, not the first one, but the one, the first one I'm gonna show you that was eliminated was from Mac. And it's the Brandon Rain. Uh, this was very difficult to to eliminate. I have to be completely honest here because I love the colors, purple and gold, a little bit of LA Kings, and he's got the black in there as well. So I thought the, the logo was strong, uh, the the colors were strong, but the team name there's already kind of a professional sports team called the Rain, and that's the Ontario Rain. They're in the AHL in Ontario, not on, not Ontario Canada, Ontario California. So we felt like the name was kind of already used in a professional setting. So for that reason, this one uh, was eliminated, but we loved the colors and the logo for sure. The next one that was eliminated was by Carson, and he named his team the Brentwood Bobcats. So I'll show this on the screen. So we liked the jersey. We thought it was really cool. We liked the team name, Bobcats. I mean, that's a really cool name. Uh, it could be intimidating, but we weren't so caught up on the logo. I think the eyes did a really good job uh, showing the aggression and maybe some you know, anger and stuff. But the mouth, we felt like it was not lazy, but like sleepy or something or uneventful. I'm not sure. Unimpressed, maybe instead of angry. So we, we kind of were conflicted on the logo a little bit. And that's why we decided to eliminate this one. Next, this one was difficult to eliminate as well. This one is by Nash North, a very you know prominent uh, designer here on the channel. We featured his work a lot. And his team name was called the Chatt Chattanooga uh, Railroaders. Kind of a cool name. Uh, I like anything to do with transportation, you know, trains, planes, automobiles, whatever. I like to see that stuff in logos. His colors are also really cool. Kind of a, a, a pinkish, kind of like pastel color with the green. I think those are so unique in the, in, in really any sport, not just the NHL or hockey, any sport. And his logo is cool as well. He's got a big train on there and his, his secondary logo was pretty cool. Uh, I think we just felt like maybe it's, it just simply kind of came down to not enough strong votes for this that kind of eliminated it. Next submission is by Caleb, and he his team was team name was called the Fresno Nightcrawlers. And okay, first off, love the team name Nightcrawlers. Are you kidding me? That is a very menacing team name. So we like we like that a lot. Uh, the jersey itself, the design was really cool. The alternate logo was cool. We didn't love the primary logo though. We felt like it was. I don't know, it's just kind of awkward in a way. It was it was intimidating. There was a lot of aggression in the eyes, deep red eyes. We like the hockey element in there as well, but it just kind of felt like it was floating on there. They seemed like two different elements that not really interacting. So that's kind of why we decided to eliminate that one. Next was by Adriana, and this this, this team's called the, I'm gonna butcher this name. Oh geez, I can't even say it. I'm just gonna say the, the, the team name, the Harley Quinns. So her submission here is actually really cool. I like the colors, the colors are really neat. I like the black in there. We get some yellow and some some green in uh, you know, some Minnesota sometimes, with, especially with the reverse retro. So it's not totally unique color combination. There's also the Packers and stuff who use these colors. So the colors together, not that unique, but throwing some black in there, I thought was really cool. So I like the logo. I, I liked uh, the jersey. The jersey I thought was phenomenal. I am a big fan of the jersey. It reminds me of the London Knights a little bit, but not in like a, hey, that jersey already exists, you stole it, but in a good way, just like, it reminds me of something else that I also like. So the jersey was cool. I liked the, the pattern and the striping. The logo looks great on there. I like using black as the primary color. We thought the name was a little bit odd, the Harley Quinns. So I think that's kind of what, what held this one up and, and ultimately 
uh, made it be eliminated, but just a small shadow in the logo, the top of the antenna here are in the shape of a hockey stick. So that's really cool. Okay, next to be eliminated was the Grand Rapids Fury. And that's by Dean. Grand Rapids Fury, so the team Fury, the, the name Fury, kind of cool, not bad, very aggressive, good. The colors, not bad. We got two shades of blue, which look good. Maybe even a slight like aqua teal or something in there as well. But we didn't really like the logo that much. It was, it just felt like a little bit awkward, kind of like some of the, some of the other ones. So good team name, good jersey, uh, not so much uh, the logo. So there's some, there's a lot of conversations around around these and 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 why we should eliminate them and why should we push other ones forward. This is very difficult to to judge, guys. <laughs> the next one that was eliminated was by Hayden, and this was the Grand Rapids Voyagers. So. Cool colors, kind of unique, I guess. Uh, I like the team name as well, the Voyagers. Like that's kind of a cool name, but we felt like the logo was a little awkward. A, a shirtless man on a canoe <laughs> felt just a, a slightly awkward. So that's why this one was eliminated. Next is the Harrisburg Hazard, and this was by Bo. Like this is a pretty interesting team name. The Hazard, like the we all like the team name, but we felt like it was almost. I don't know, maybe two Simpsons like just because of the, the nuclear power plant on the logo and whatnot. So I don't know. I this again, there was a lot of conversations around this too. And it was very difficult to eliminate this one. There were some conversations about pushing this one through, but uh, ultimately we did, did we did decide to eliminate it. Okay, next up there is a one called the Mississauga Beavers by Wow Hawk or Wow 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 Hawk. I don't know. I don't know the name. So here's the here's the jersey. Okay, so I, I, this one almost made it through. It's kind of a, not necessarily silly name. Beavers are very prominent in Canada, uh, but the logo was slightly silly, but we, I love the colors. The colors are so good. Red, blue, and yellow, and white. And the jersey design was great as well. I think like if this was flushed out into an entire uniform, uh, I think it would look really cool. So like conceptually, this was a really cool uniform or jersey idea, but we didn't necessarily like the, the, the logo that much. Next one that was eliminated was by Jack. This is the Nova Scotia Highlanders. Again, this one hurt, you know, hurt my heart to eliminate this one. Nova Scotia is right next door. It's basically my home, anything to do with Atlantic Canada, I kind of consider it home. And here you can see that he went the whole Scottish route. So it's a cool jersey. Like it really is a cool jersey. I would love to see an alternate jersey of some team or a specialty jersey do something like this in the future. But we did feel like it was this wouldn't be necessarily plausible, uh, and that pattern would get a little bit old pretty quickly. Even though it's very Scottish, and it makes total sense for Nova Scotia, it's a great name, Highlanders. But uh, yeah, it, it was eliminated for that for that reason of pattern. Okay, next up, this is by Derek, and his team name is called the Pontiacet Industrials. So I will show you the jersey and the logo. So you can see, I okay, I actually have a different photo of the secondary logo. I want to show that first. Sorry. Love that secondary logo. Really, really good. The jersey, also really cool. I really like the jersey. That primary logo on there of a hand just going up and grabbing the stick with the cog or gear in the background, like that is a phenomenal logo. I like the font as well, very old school. Um, but the team name Industrials just, I don't know, it just sounded, it just sounded weird. So I think we were a little critical of the team name there and that's why it was eliminated. The next one that was eliminated was by Music Mixer and this was the Rockford Rapids. And uh, as you can see, beautiful colors. Two shades of blue complemented with the white. That's really cool. Team name, Rapids, that's kind of cool. But the, the logo, uh, actually none of us really liked the logo. We felt like the, the font or the text just got completely lost on there. So for that reason, this one was eliminated. All right, the next one that was eliminated was by Sylvain. And this was the Rosemont Renards. And I'll bring it up here. Uh, the secondary logo first, actually. Secondary logo, really cool. Very simplistic, nice fox, well-designed. The primary logo is actually kind of cool, too. Uh, and then the jersey. I'm going to bring up the jersey. So I get Greenville Swamp Rabbits vibes a little bit here. So not necessarily in a bad or a good way. just wanted to mention it. I love the logo. I love the jersey. None of us really liked the team name. We felt like the team name was... We didn't even know what it was, honestly. <laughs> uh, so we didn't like the team name, but we liked everything else. So it's kind of interesting how in this contest, it's not just about the logo. It's not just about the jersey. It's kind of about everything, even the description, which I'm not going through here. I will for the finalists and stuff. But yeah, it's uh, it's it's a lot to consider on different angles. So that that was the main challenge about making decisions on who to eliminate and who to not. Okay, the next one was by Jake, and this was the Sacco or Seiko Chickadees. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I apologize. So let's bring this up here. There were a lot of bird submissions, and this was one of them. 
And uh, it was a really cool jersey design. We liked the fact that the feathers kind of came down off the shoulder and then at the end of the feather, or the end of the, the wings rather, were right there at the bottom of the sleeves, at the bottom of the arms. That looks good. Uh, we like the secondary logo. We weren't crazy on the, the team name Chickadees. It felt like a little kiddish or something. Like a chickadee isn't really that intimidating. It's a small bird and the logo is, is okay. It does show some intimidation stuff in there but it's, uh, it's a little bit generic at the same time, so that's why that was eliminated. The next one was by Amanda, and it's, this one's called is the Squamous Chief, and I will show you the jersey. Amazing jersey. Like, love the jersey. The colors look great. The bottom with the mountain there looks good. The shoulder patch looks cool, but the logo itself, it's nice, but it's so close to the alternate logo from Colorado that we felt like this isn't necessarily unique in the NHL since that kind of imagery already exists, not identically, obviously, but very close in a different team, and as well as the mountains in there too. So it's kind of close to Colorado Avalanche, we felt like. Okay, so next up was the Tatamagoosh Giant Lobsters. This was by Cole, and this is a Nova Scotian team. That's why I know how to pronounce that, because <laughs> I know that city, or that, that town, rather. And we liked the jersey. Like, the jersey was really cool. The The team named Giant Lobsters, like, maybe not Lobsters itself is... is not that great of a name, but giant lobsters. Lobsters can get actually pretty big and they can hurt you, okay? They got some some pinchers, so they can get you. But uh, yeah, the logo, we didn't feel like it was that strong, I guess. And uh, yeah, for that reason, it, it was eliminated. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to think back to some of the decisions behind some of these. The next one that was eliminated was by Dylan, the Trenton Force. This one almost made it into the top 15. Like it was a very, this is basically one that was eliminated last. And uh, this was based in a, a city that's in uh, Ontario, Canada. And in Trenton, there's a big military base or Air Force base. I can't remember what, what base. But I think this is the city that has the statue of the F-86 Sabre somewhere in there. If it doesn't, I apologize. I've not been to Trenton. I've only seen photos. We like the colors uh, for the most part. We felt like the goldish, yellowish thing was, you know, it's okay. But the logo itself looks like that is a great logo. Big fan of the logo. It's so simplistic, um, but it also has like a racial thing going on, and we didn't want it to be considered to be controversial. So that was another reason why is it limit why it was eliminated. The next one that was eliminated was I on the blue eyes on the blue line or I in the blue line. The Viking v Voldsum, I guess, is the name of this. And there's the logo. So it's just it's a very symmetrical, basically kind of like Viking themed. It almost looks like a snowflake kind of thing in a way. Uh, it, was, it was okay. We like the jersey. The jersey is very simplistic. The specific shade of blue looks great on the black, kind of complemented with the white. Uh, the logo is, we felt like it, it's cool by itself, but in a hockey perspective, maybe on a jersey, not so much as a primary logo, maybe an alternate logo, but but not uh, not a primary logo. Okay, the next one that was eliminated was by Sam. It's the Wichita Wildcats. And uh, we again, it kind of came down to logo a little bit. We like the name Wildcats was cool. We like the colors. So I'm going to show you the jersey with the colors. Really great, like a really great jersey. Uh, but the logo, it just felt a little awkward. I think it was the bottom of the head. It felt like too thick or it's almost like it was smiling or something. It didn't really match the same kind of personality or aggression from the eyes. So uh, for that reason, that one was eliminated. And then the final one here that was eliminated was the uh, Tempe Battlehawks. And this was by uh, Shocklin. Sh Shocklin, I don't know, <laughs> Shocklin, whatever. So anyway, here's the primary logo. Again, another bird submission. There's a lot of bird submission. So the Battlehawks, that is a cool name, Battlehawks. But we also have Blackhawks, Battlehawks, Blackhawks. It's so close. That's the actual reason why this one was eliminated. But the logo is cool. Uh, the secondary logo is amazing. I love that. The uh, other logos that were submitted here were pretty cool, but I'm not going to show those because there were so many that were submitted. I'm just going to show you the jersey. The jersey is phenomenal, like absolutely phenomenal. I love the jersey is probably the nicest jersey that we've we've had in a contest. Like maybe not the nicest, but like the top and top ten of nicest jerseys that have been submitted in contests. I think this is right up there. So this one was very difficult to eliminate, but it came down to the name again. It came down to the name Battlehawks. It was so close to Blackhawks. So that is the twenty that were eliminated with no pick. So now we just have the top thirty to go through. Top fifteen for pictures and top fifteen for no pictures. So I'm going to, again, I apologize that this is so clumsy and I apologize I'm talk, trying to talk so fast, I'm trying to get through this. We're already up to like 40 minutes or something like this. It's, it's getting to be a long video. So let's look at the top 15 of pictures first. But what I've done is picked the top 15, eliminated some, made a top 10. 
from the top 10, made a top five. From the top five, made a top three. And then that's how I got to the top three from each one for each side. So we got we're gonna have a top three with photos, top three without photos. That made our made up our top six. And uh, so these were the first five that were eliminated from the top 15 in no particular order. So the first one that was eliminated was by Marissa, actually a former winner. She's won two previous contests. Uh, so she does amazing work. And there's a photo of her in front of her team, or her, in front of her city, rather, at Lancaster, New Hampshire. And this is her jersey, which is really cool. So her team name is called the Lancaster Lupin. And it was, it was an okay name. Like, we, we, no one loved the name. We loved the colors. The colors are phenomenal. Probably my favorite color combination of anything that was submitted in this entire contest. The green and the purple with contrasted with the black. There's even some stars on the jersey here. Like, it, it looks so good. The logo feels very, very big, though. Uh, and also maybe a little bit too intricate from a distance. It might look uh, almost not like a head. There's so much going on, so many different changes of, of lighting and in each of those little sections that from a distance that might not, you might not even know what it is. But I think up close, it would, it would look amazing. But uh, yeah, I think the name kind of kind of held this one back a little bit and it was one of the reasons that we decided to not push it through to the top 10. The next that was eliminated was the Oshkosh Aviators. And this was by Travis. There's a picture of Travis in front of the beautiful sign in Oshkosh. And if you don't know what Oshkosh is or where it is, and it's home to probably the biggest air show in history of the world. And here is his jersey, or one of them rather, and it looks great. Like it, it's a really great jersey. I love the colors. The, the alternate patch or the, the secondary logo, which would become the patch, looks really good. We weren't crazy about the logo though. We felt like the plane on there was so almost disconnected from the, the A for aviators. I just felt maybe just like a little bit of a disconnection, but we liked everything else. Okay, so next was the St. Bruno Eclipse. And this was, I don't know how to pronounce your name, Lalock or, L I don't know. I, I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Love the photo though, awesome photo. That's really cool. And here is his work. So we've got, uh, wow, great stuff. The primary logo, an astronaut helmet, like so cool, playing right into what I love. Some stars in the reflection in the helmet and an eclipse happening there. It kind of looks like Mars a little bit, but it's a, the starting of an, of an eclipse. And then the jersey itself, is it got one big giant kind of eclipse or, or happening at the beginning of eclipse. And then the secondary logo is cool as well. It's got a telescope. Uh, we did feel like maybe the jersey was a little bit too aggressive. Uh, we're not sure how a big giant circle like that would look on a real jersey. And the team name, the eclipse, it's a, it's a cool name, but it's not necessarily like typical or intimidating or anything like that. But we loved we loved the colors too as well. Now, the next one that was eliminated was from by someone called Saltine Crackers. And their team name was called the Wiki Wachi Firefish. I apologize if I'm pronouncing that incorrect, but the name Firefish, incredible name. Love the name Firefish for a team. That's really cool. Now the jersey itself, uh, the the logo was pretty neat. We 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 like the logo, and we think it would be a really cool matchup between the sharks and the firefish, like going head to head. That would be cool. We we kind of talked about that. But the jersey, we felt like it was a little too aggressive, maybe a little bit too cartoony with the flames kind of coming up along the bottom and stuff. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't our first choice, that's for sure. Uh, but it was a really cool idea. We, we, it was a really, really cool idea. The next one that was eliminated was by Shay, and it's the Stratford Stingers. So Stratford, not Ontario, Stratford PEI, actually where I've lived quite a bit of my life. There she is in front of the sign, which is really cool. And we liked the, the, the jersey, it was great. The colors, almost like a sky blue with a red and some silver in there. The logo was really cool. Maybe a little disconnected with the jellyfish and then singers coming across. There was a bit of awkward negative space between the two. And uh, the secondary logo was amazing. We really, really liked the secondary logo, but unfortunately this one, uh, this one was eliminated. So now we're going to get into the top 10 and the next five that were eliminated here are going to be in no particular order. So Jason Ronaldo, you made it into the top 10 but your submission of the Angola Horror, unfortunately, was eliminated. And there he is in front of the awesome sign. I like that sign a lot. And then his submission here, which is pretty cool. So then the, the font at the top, which was not really required, looks great. I love the font you chose or designed for horror. That's really cool. The primary logo is really great. The secondary logo is really great as well. But we saw the train tracks on the jersey, and we felt like, ah, that was, I don't know. We didn't really feel like it necessarily not necessarily belong because it kind of matched the secondary logo, but it just felt 
a little off or a little wrong or something or, or a little bit weird, I guess, to have it on there. So that's kind of why it was eliminated. Very difficult decisions here. The next one that was eliminated was by Chris Wilson, the Camor Rocky Mountain Extreme. This one almost made it into the top. Um, this was in, like extremely close to making it into the finals, actually, uh, the top five. So let's start off with a picture of Chris. And apparently he hurt himself going to get this photo. So unfortunately, Chris, you didn't win. And I'm sorry that you hurt yourself. But I love the photo. Look at those shades. Lovely sign in the background too. And here is the primary uh, jersey. So you can see here a lot of great things. Number one, the colors. So good. Number two, really cool logo. Rocky Mountain Extreme. Or sorry, the Camwear Rocky Mountain Extreme. So there's actually, that's, that's one of the negative things. One of the reasons why it was uh, eliminated. Too many words in the team name. Canmore Rocky Mountain Extreme, just way too long. Uh, but the logo is cool. It totally plays in with Canmore and that area in general. I love the X that makes up the extreme. One part is the, you know, like a, like a pickaxe. The other part is the hockey stick. Amazing. Secondary logo looks really good. Like that a lot as well. And then an X that holds the numbers in the, in the jersey too. That's like phenomenal work here. And I want to show the uh, other logo just because it's cool. I like the, the Canmore a font here that's really cool but yeah unfortunately we did eliminate it due to the name if it was something a little bit s s a smaller like canmore extreme or maybe not canmore but just like rocky mountain extreme but canmore rocky mountain extreme was just a little bit too long so the next one that was eliminated was very difficult as well it was from dan mccoy he he submitted the kona uh lava or lava however you want to pronounce it all the way from hawaii look at this photo it looks like he's at the airport here welcome to kona and I've never been to Hawaii, but I'd love to visit sometime. Uh, and I love the photo. Here's the jersey and the logo. Love the idea behind this. Like, we have never seen anything like this. I don't think in any top-tier hockey teams in North America, anything to do with a volcano. Could be wrong, but I can't think of anything. So love the conceptual idea here. The jersey is really cool as well, but uh, we did feel like maybe the volcano could be a little bit more developed. It just kind of looks like it's oozing a little bit, maybe like a big eruption or something, or maybe maybe that would be a better team name, eruption. Uh, not exactly sure, but the logo kind of brought this one down a little bit. The next one that was eliminated was the O'Fallon Bombers. This is by Drew Martin. Again, another very prominent uh, designer on the channel. Here is him in front of his, actually his, uh, his city hall, which is pretty cool. He took a photo of the sign there as well and a little bit of a description if you want to pause and read that, but I'm going to jump right into his jersey and his uniform. Actually, he did the entire uniform. So the logo, so good. I like that a lot. Um, the, the shoulder patch, really good as well. But like overall, there wasn't one specific thing that held this one out of the top three or the top five. It just didn't get a lot of like top votes. So we kind of did a ranking, all of us, and it was this one just was never near the top. It was in, I was always near the middle. So kind of for that reason, this one was eliminated. Uh, we really liked it though. We just didn't feel like it was necessarily standout. The next one that was eliminated was the St. George Dragons by Niek or Neek. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But there he is in front of the sign, which is pretty cool. Lots of stuff going on in that sign, actually. And here's the design. Love the colors. Purple with some black and some silver and a little bit of gold in there as well. We like the font that you chose for the for the numbers and stuff and, the, and whatnot. The, the secondary logo was cool. It has aggression. The primary logo was cool as well, but we did feel it like it was slightly cartoony. We want to see make maybe some a little bit more like girth not necessarily girth but just it felt really s small i guess in a way for a dragon it just like the top half is great but then the bottom half we kind of felt like it was missing something so uh, kind of for that reason it was eliminated now we're getting into the top five okay so there's only two eliminations from the top five which push into the top three so uh we've got two here so the cranberry bombers this is by tyler this one was eliminated it almost made it into the top three there he is in front of the sign uh welcome to cranberry I'm not even actually sure where this is, but uh, we liked the jersey. The jersey was so good. Uh, the colors, the design, the logo on there too looks looks really, really great. And I'll show you his, his alternate logo. It's just kind of a plain. The secondary logo is not that great, uh, but we, we liked the primary logo. We liked the jersey, but the secondary logo um, held it out a little bit. The next one that was eliminated was another bird one. It was by Lars, and this one was called the... Ursigen, Ursigen, or but here is his jersey. Really cool jersey. We did like this quite a bit. The logo is like 
pretty much perfect. Like it's got aggression, it's got a hockey element, it's well designed, the colors are great, the font even in there, the, the words in there don't de detract from the primary element, which is like the, the mascot or the bird or whatever. But the name Buzzards, I'm not sure if that's a disconnect between North America and Europe, but Buzzards just, that's not an intimidating name for us here. It's it's just, and it's also close to, to the term buzzer, like score clock buzzer. So I don't know. We we didn't we didn't love the name. Basically, is kind of what I'm getting at. So that's that's what why it was eliminated. Now we're getting in the top three here. I'm gonna need a breather. So top three. These are the official finalists for the people who submitted a photo. The first one is the Allegheny. I think it was called Allegheny Archers. And this is by J M, and he did uh, a bunch of amazing work here. So awesome photo, by the way. Um, the primary logo amazing like absolutely amazing there's an a in there there's an archer in there there's this is in uh near pittsburgh i think so there's some bridge kind of texture or trusses and stuff back there kind of making the whole whatever element shaped element the secondary logo is good that looks like 100 percent something right out of pittsburgh uh, but not in a i know i'm copying pittsburgh penguins way the jersey looks good as well that's totally something that i could see from a from a team near pittsburgh He's got his description here. I am gonna read this because it, this is a finalist. So here we go. Introducing the Al Allegheny Archers. Uh, home of the Archers is a suburb of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, located north of the city across the Allegheny River. Or Al Al Again, I don't know how to pronounce that. The Allegheny neighborhoods, which are split up into Allegheny West, Allegheny Central, and East Allegheny, are, and are where the Archers will play. Uh, are part of a larger area called the North Side, which is the home of the Steelers and Pirates of the NFL and M MLB. This area, as well as Pittsburgh, is located in the Alleg in Allegheny County. The name Archers itself has a double meaning. At first glance, it seems to refer to a bone arrow uh, donning soldier. However, the deeper meaning of Archers is in honor of the 446th bridges in and surrounding Pittsburgh and Allegheny, which is the largest number of bridges in the world. The classic golden bridge pattern is present in the Archer's logo and the colors of black and gold are the same colors that all professional sports team in Western Pennsylvania share. Very interesting. So that is a finalist. I'm not gonna tell you my thoughts on that other than what I've said so far, and I'm gonna save it till the end of the video. The next finalist for people who submitted photos is a team called the Homer Halibut. This is from JDB4RT. And so you can see here, took a photo of himself in front of the sign, and this is from Alaska. We got a submission from Alaska, which is really cool. Beautiful logo, unbelievable logo. Shape of a halibut, represents Alaska, great colors, has a scene in there as well. Just like, it's so good. The alternate logo, again, is good. Very simplified logo with the H, a hockey stick kind of going through. Even had another logo that he included here kind of based on the Alaskan uh, state flag. The jersey, amazing. I have, I have more things to say about the jersey when I go through the finalists and what, how we decided uh, where these kind of fell out. But So I'll save that conversation for a little bit later, but I'll read the description. Bayside Homer, Alaska names itself the halibut fishing capital of the world. The world record holder for largest Pacific halibut caught was captured in Alaskan waters and weighed 459 pounds. The logo takes its colors from the Alaska state flag and depicts the beautiful view of the hills and mountains across the water from Homer. Great short description, uh, great colors, great logo, team name, halibut, not the best team name, but still pretty cool. So I like that submission all the way from Alaska. Now the next finalist, this is by Jan or Yan, I assume it's Yan, uh, the Madison Hat Venom. So description, the reason I chose the Venom is because in Madison Hat, we have lots of rattlesnakes. The snake is on the logo and they are venomous. So that was the description, a little bit short, not necessarily specific, but the logo is amazing. The logo is so good. The jersey is so good. The colors, average, uh, but the logo just, there's a hockey element, the creature's in there, the text is in there, which is very stylized and done so well. The alternate logo that says Venom has the the the, the snake or whatever, like just about to go to attack, the mouth is open, you can see the teeth, but the negative space in that whole area makes up the V to continue with Venom, like, so good. It is so good. The jerseys, both are great, and there you can see his photo down there in front of the, 
the sign. So again, another great submission. These were the top three for people who submitted photos. Now we need to back up and kind of go through this process all again for the no pictures. So top 15, we're gonna go through the top five, or the next five that were eliminated into the, and then into the top 10, you know, the process. So the first one that was eliminated was Daniel's Mashes Melbourne Mischief. So another uh, uh, entry all the way from Australia here and another bird entry. Again, lots of bird entries. I don't know what's going on, but you guys love the birds. So I'll bring his jersey up here. Uh, so jersey design, really cool. Like the colors, the the secondary logo, I thought was phenomenal. Change or taking a feather and putting it through the M to kind of create dimension, great. The logo itself was good, but maybe just a little bit average. Um, so for, for that reason, and for the team name, Mischief, it was kind of a, a weird team name. Uh, the name was okay, but didn't really relate to us uh, necessarily with a bird. So for, for that reason, we kind of uh, eliminated it. The next one that was eliminated was by Carlo. It's the Niagara Rush. So really cool colors, actually. The blue and the red and the white and the black look great together. The jersey design was we felt was okay. Uh, the logo, we, we loved the color play with the logo. We did feel like it was maybe a little bit too busy, um, but the design itself, like, if you could look at this up close, wow, amazing logo but there was so much going on, we felt it was maybe hard to di dissect from far away. Um, so for that reason, we kind of eliminated it. The next one that was eliminated was by Eric, and this is the North St. Paul Freeze. And there's a lot that was submitted here, actually. A bunch of jerseys went, went overboard. But the, the logo is kind of cool. It's an angry snowman kind of coming over the, the word freeze. So there's some perspective and dimension going on here, which is pretty cool. There's even a hockey element in there as well. We like the colors. Uh, but we, we weren't sold on the name Freeze. We, we felt like uh, Freeze means like stop what you're doing and don't move. Not necessarily Freeze and like cold. So even though that's di depicted in here as maybe not how we interpreted it, we felt like Freeze wasn't like the best name. The next one that was eliminated was by Simon and it was the Rotterdam uh, Phoenix. So another cool submission from far away. And the jersey is really cool. A little bit close to the like a combination between Blasty from the Calgary Flames and the Vancouver Canucks skate jersey. We like the logo. Uh, the, the team name is pretty cool. If, like the Phoenix, that's a cool kind of a cool name. But kind of like the other one, it got like mid-level votes all the way through. No one voted it super, super high in their list, so it was eliminated due to that. The next one is from Scott, the Squamish Wildman. And this one is very interesting, actually. I'm going to bring up uh, the... I'm gonna, I've got... Only one thing here to show you. Actually, two things. I'll show you the secondary logo in a different photo. So the jersey, really cool. Love the pattern here in the arm. The colors are great. Bit of a teal greenish complemented with the blue and the white. And the red, boom, right in the eyes just gets you. This area of the face of the of the Wildman or the Yeti or the, the Sasquatch, whatever, we felt was a little awkward. I don't know if it's because it's white or, or what. I felt like he was wearing makeup and they just like wiped it all off or something or maybe white makeup was painted on. I'm not sure. We just felt it was a little bit awkward. But... I want to show you the secondary logo because I love the secondary logo. Just a silhouette. You don't see them, okay? You never see them. And you don't see them in the, in the logo here. It's just a silhouette. So I like that little play. And then the detail is actually in the background. We got some mountains and some trees and stuff. So I love the secondary logo. And I don't mind the name, but we weren't all sold on the primary logo. Okay, so those were the first five that were eliminated. And now we're into the top 10. And these were the next ones that were eliminated in no particular order. So Scott, uh, he submitted one called the Lake City Phantoms. We like the colors, purple. Again, I've said this before in the, in the video, purple is not utilized enough with the black. Uh, the logo was very, very, very intimidating. We like the name Phantoms as well. But again, it was kind of just voted like mid-level. Uh, so it didn't get a lot of top votes. Next was the Newfoundland Caribou by Samuel. So I like this one, Newfoundland's not too far from me. We love the... Uh, the the logo the logo was great I very angry caribou big giant antlers breaking through the hockey stick kind of like the San Jose Sharks logo in a way uh, so we liked the aggression there uh, a lot the jersey was really hard to make out in the drawing here so we didn't we didn't talk too much about the jersey but we conceptually felt like the name caribou was a really cool name uh, at least here in Canada maybe you don't know what a caribou is in, in the United States but everyone in Canada knows what a caribou is and the logo was really cool but we felt like the jersey. Uh, lacked a little bit. Okay, the next one that was eliminated was by Sam. This is the Niagara Rapids. We like the, the team name. Rapids is kind of a cool name. The jersey, so good. Like, so good. Amazing jersey. But we felt like the logo was a bit odd because it makes up the R. With the, you can see the Rapids coming down to make up that little tail of the R, the bottom other section of the R. We know that, but it also looks like a P. 
and it looks like the P is peeing. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm not sure if that makes sense. Like we like the logo, it's just a little bit awkward. It almost needs to, the, the, the P part, the rapids almost needs to have the same blue as the top part of the letter. It's just too, just too disconnected at the moment. So we, we did feel like the P was peeing a little bit here, but love the jersey. Secondary logo is actually really cool too. It was on the shoulder patch, if you can see. So the next one that was eliminated is the Whippy Mamba by Owen. And there's the jersey. So we loved the colors. Colors, a little bit of orange, some green and black, like literally perfect The cut color combination here for this one. Was great. The jersey was really good, but we felt like the name actually wasn't that great. So Mamba, and we were also dealing with another one called the Venom that we already saw. So Mamba and Venom, we preferred Venom. So again, kind of for that reason, this one was eliminated. Uh, the next one that was eliminated was the Watertown Mountaineers. This is by Dale. And we felt conceptually like this had a lot of really like promise. So we liked the name Mountaineers. We thought that was a cool name, but there's just a lot you could do with that. There's logos and there's like a mascot. Like there's a lot of really cool things you could do. So we liked the name. Uh, the logo was okay. We, we felt like maybe having a, a, a gun on there, kind of like the, the militia one from earlier, was maybe not the best choice just because it's a polarizing topic. Uh, but the the primary logo was okay as well. We just, we felt kind of average about everything else except for the name. We love the name. Okay, getting to the top five, the next two that were eliminated um, before they got into the top three. The first one that was eliminated in the top five, or not the first one, but the first one we'll look at is Nick Stella's, who you know from the channel as well. We've looked at his work lots in the past and it's the Barry Lakers. So let's bring this, this is very difficult to eliminate, like very, very difficult. Some people had this high, some people had it low. I had a high, the colors, so good. Deep blue with a light blue, the contrast so nicely, the bit of a rope texture in there on the stripes. The logo itself is, is great. It's got a rope texture. It's got the steering wheel from the ship or whatever. We didn't necessarily like the alternate logo. We liked the representation and why it was chosen. And the design was cool, but we just, I don't know, it felt like a maybe a little bit awkward or something. Um, that's, that's really kind of what it came down to. And again, kind of the, discrepancy of, of where it was voted in. The next one that was eliminated was the Red Deer North. So again, th this contest is about the conceptual idea behind the, the, the team name and everything. It's not necessarily about the execution. So the execution isn't necessarily that great on this one. It's hand-drawn, but the idea is what's important. The Red Deer North, we kind of like, we like that play. We like that idea, the Great White North in Canada, Red Deers in Canada, uh, the Jersey, Awesome, love the colors. The logo too, we really, really like the logo. We can see a mountain up there um, that's got maybe got a little bit of a snow on it and then north along the bottom and then red deer. So we really liked like the idea behind this was really cool. But then we got kind of thinking about the name North. Well, there's already, there, you know, there's, there's, there's division names called similar things. Like there was the North division last year in the NHL, but then there's the Atlantic. So we didn't necessarily feel like the name was was that great. All right, getting into the top three here. We're getting down to it, guys. It's a long video, I apologize. Okay, so the first one we're gonna look at is the Brockville Armada. This is by Orion Taylor. Again, another artist that we've seen lots here on the channel. You can see the logo, the jersey. It all looks so good, but I'll read the description as you look through this. The city's rich nautical history allows a lot of elements to brand the team, such as ships, anchors, ropes, wheels, compasses, etc. I chose the name Armada as it is a name for the fleet of naval vessels. A warship dons the front of the jersey as the primary logo, with the secondary logo being a ship steering wheel, encompassing an element from cities from the city's flag, the beehive. An embossed rope texture is imprinted on the sleeve stripes to tie together the nautical theme. The alternate jersey features a big old style letter B to pay tribute to the city's longest serving sporting club, the Brockville Rowing Club, one of the oldest clubs in the country. The striping pattern also mimics the rowing club's uniforms. That's pretty cool. So great description there. Uh, this one got a, a lot of promising votes. It was universally liked for the colors. Not I mean, any of us really disliked the colors that much. Uh, the, the, the rope texture in there looks great. The alternate jersey, even though it wasn't like this, we didn't even take it into consideration for the, for the, you know, trying to decide a winner or anything. The alternate jersey is phenomenal. Like I said, we didn't include it in our decision making, but it's so good. I really like that one. The logo looks good. Um, so let's move on to the next one. And that's going to be from Dylan McKee, McKay or McKee. And his team name is called the Penhold Chinooks. So if you don't know, like everyone in Canada knows what a Chinook is. If you if you don't, you might have to you might have to look it up. I'm gonna read the description here anyway. Penhold Chinooks are a new mix into the Alberta rivalry. The heat and force that the central wind central wind brings will dismantle any opponent with ease and simplicity. 
Blues are for the change of color in the sky during one a Chinook. Red, yellow for a warm mountain breeze. So, again, go look it up. But a Chinook is is a can be a kind of a devastating thing, and this was so strong from so many different elements. The team name is you know if you're American you might not identify too much with that, but as a Canadian we we kind of liked it. Or I guess not all the judges were Canadian, but the Canadian judges did. And the colors, I love the colors. I love the jersey. The logo is amazing. I love the simplicity of the logo. It feels almost retro at the same time. I actually like the text in there. The whole the shape itself makes up a mountain. I just thought it was great, like absolutely great. And the back of the jersey kind of mimics the mountain as well. So fantastic logo, fantastic colors. And then the final submission, the final one that we have to present here is the the Ravens, Aaron Keller, uh, Ravens team. I'll put it up here on the screen so you can see. And there's, a, there's actually a couple of images to go through here. So you can see his logo, you can see the alternate logo and how he kind of decided to go through here. So I'm gonna read this. The hometown of, I can't say it, Switzerland, was founded in the year 18, or sorry, 835 by a priest who got gifted two ravens that are now also presented on the city coat of arms. The two ravens play a crucial part in the story of St. Min Meinrad. Again, ooh, I'm but butchering this. That's the reason I called the team the Ravens. So there's some photos that he took some uh, inspiration from. The logo's great. Here's another graphic where he shows the progress of how he actually drew the logo, found a, a photo of a raven, digitized it, or drew over the kind of the shape, whatever, had that digital kind of mock-up, and then developed it from there. So great. And then how he got the alternate logo as well. So really good background storytelling here of how he kind of come up with or came up with the logo in the, in the story, pretty cool. And then here's the jerseys. So uh, we like the, so a lot of birds, I'm gonna mention this again. This was the best bird concept we kind of felt like. So that's kind of how it, it made it to the finals here. But the, we felt like the shoulder patch looks good on there. It represented Switzerland well. Uh, the logo, great, like phenomenal logo. Uh, aggression in the eyes, the mouth or the beak rather, also had some aggression in it, it was like pointed downwards. Uh, he's ready, it looks like he's ready for battle. But we did feel like the jersey, like the stage gradient along, along the bottom was maybe a little bit too much. So now that we're down to the top uh, six, wow, very difficult. As you can tell, extremely difficult. So we didn't rank them as far as which ones that we, you know, one to six. And in fact, I, I kind of had to make a tiebreaker. There was, there was ones that were voted for uh, near the top. So for example, in the, this top three that we just looked at, um, the uh, the Chinooks got quite a bit of votes. And then in the other one, uh, they all kind of got a lot of votes. The, the Venom got votes, the, the Halibut got votes, the Archers got votes. And it was like, it came down to kind of those four. And uh, wow, it's so difficult. So I'm just gonna come out and say the winner, okay? And this is a tiebreaker for me. Not even, even the judges know which, which one I'm gonna choose, but I gotta break the tie somehow. And I'm gonna just explain in detail why, okay? So the winner of this contest, who is going to win these two jerseys, An uh, Anaheim Ducks jersey and uh, Team Canada jersey, is going to be, hold on one second, is going to be JDB4RT of the Homer Halibut. Congratulations, you have won the contest, and I'm gonna tell you and everyone why. A lot of reasons, okay, why I decided to make this decision. So number one, I guess I've already talked about the logo. I love the intricacies in the logo, the symbolism, the depth of the logo. Uh, it also it represented so many things, not only the team name, but the 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 state and the the scene as well. Like there's just, it's so well developed, but it's simple at the same time. The secondary logo was extremely simple, but great. Like that would look great on a shoulder. Very, just an H with a hockey stick going through it. That would look great on a shoulder. It's very easy to uh, you know visually understand that. And then the jersey itself, so when we looked at the colors, or when I looked at the colors here, I didn't necessarily see anything that was unique. Blue and yellow are, it's probably my favorite color combination ever. And I thought, okay, well, that's kind of dangerous. I can't really necessarily pick this as my favorite or the winner because of the National Predators and the Buffalo Sabres and the St. Louis Blues. All these teams use the same colors. But then I thought, well, wait a minute. It's so easy to have your jersey look like any of those because there's three teams that have lots of jerseys using those colors. And then I looked at his, I'm like, well, wait a minute. None of those jerseys look like anything from any of those teams. And I thought, wow, he really did a wonderful job here of taking colors that are pretty prominent in the NHL, but making jerseys and designs that look, that have its own complete identity from those other teams. 
So that really set it apart for me as far as some like decision making and stuff. I didn't consider the alternate jersey. That wasn't an ask. Uh, I did like it. You know, it's cool. Uh, the the secondary jersey or the, the away jersey, the white one, I didn't consider that one as well. The ask was only for one jersey, but I like that. I like the, the away jersey. But the home jersey was great. Yellow along the shoulders, the blue down here. Like pretty much everything was very good with this one. The the na- the team name is maybe the only thing I could possibly be critical about. The halibut, you know, it's, it's kind of awkward. But I felt like it was so well developed from the jersey, from the logo, from the the, the, the description and then the alternate logo too. It's just, everything was great. And Alaska, like it's going to cost me more money to pick this person as the winner because I'm gonna have to ship them these jerseys to Alaska versus someone else that's a little bit closer. So I, I, I can't not pick them just because it's gonna cost me more money to ship the jerseys. Like with this, I had, this had to be the winner for me, even though it's gonna cost me more money. I just, I loved it. I love I loved the logo. I love the jersey. I love everything about it. But it was so difficult. Like, there's no way that, like, if, if one of the other judges had to do the tiebreaker, it would have been a different team. Like, the Archers, that that team, I'll bring that one back up. Like, that one got so many votes. It was it basically came second place. Like, that was kind of the tiebreaker. The Archers and the Halibut. So, a round of applause for JM, for the winner, JD, uh, for uh, Jan, who had the other one. And then the other three, Aaron with the Ravens, Orion with the Armada, and then Dylan with the Chinooks, like incredible designs. I could see any of these designs going to the NHL and and being a really cool brand. Obviously, some of the cities and names aren't going to really make sense from a logistic perspective, but that's not what this was about. So that wraps up this video. This may be the longest video that I ever created on this channel, other than maybe like a live stream. But I thank you guys so much for sticking through this. If you've watched the entire thing, Give yourself a round of applause because you deserve it. Thank you so much to everyone who submitted during this contest. I really appreciate looking at all your work. I apologize that I couldn't read all your descriptions and go through some of the the, the other uh, submissions that didn't even make it into the top um, a little bit there. I, there's just not enough time. My throat is raw at this point for talking for an hour and 20 minutes. So I again, I thank you guys so much. There's going to be more contests on the, on the channel here and the rest of the year. There's probably going to be three more contests in the next, I don't know, what, eight months, I guess, till the end of the year. So I would love it if you could hop on board here and hit the subscribe button if you're new. And if you did like this contest, hit the like button and let me know down below in the comments, maybe more important than anything, who do you think should have won this contest? Do you think I was totally wrong? Do you think a different team should have won or a different submission? We'd love to hear from you. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your weekend. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Tomorrow, actually. Adios.